SpecView is well-established SCADA software. That is, supervisory, control, and data acquisition. It easily displays, controls, and monitors a wide variety of instruments. This video will demonstrate the key features of SpecView's version 3. Videos describing features in detail are available on our website and YouTube. This video is designed to give a user an overview of getting started with SpecView. Start SpecView by double-clicking the icon. Because this is a first use, no project is pre-selected. Click Select Create Project. If instruments are connected to SpecView and they support the auto detection feature, click Test Comms for new project. Enter a name. And click OK. The Ports and Protocols selection box is shown. Select the instrument family for the COM port or TCP IP if using Ethernet. There is a Watlow Modbus instrument connected to COM1 on this PC. Click Start Scan. When the first instrument is detected, the new instrument name box appears. Enter a logical name. Select the number of decimal places being displayed on the instrument. Click OK and SpecView scans for the next instrument. We only have one connected, so we'll click the Stop button, then click OK. If the instrument is not connected to the PC or it does not support the auto detect feature, click New Manual Project. Enter a name and click OK. SpecView starts in edit mode. Click the T on the toolbar to display the new instrument template list. Scroll down to select the instrument family, in this case Yokogawa Modbus. Click the plus sign and select the instrument. Click Create Instrument. Enter a name and select the COM port. In this case it is connected using Ethernet TCP IP. Enter the TCP IP address. The port number is 502 by default and is not normally required. The slave address is typically 1. Enter a different address if that is appropriate. Enter the number of decimal places displayed on the front of the instrument. Click Create. Close the template list and click the red V on the toolbar to display the variables list. The instrument just created is in the list. To add an instrument view to the graphical display window, or GDW, our name for the screen, click on the name and drag it. Notice that current values are shown even though SpecView is in edit mode. To put individual parameters on the screen, click the plus sign, select the parameter and drag it as before. By default, the parameter is prefixed by both the name of the instrument and the name of the parameter. To change that, click Options, Include Name, and select whether to include the instrument name, the parameter name, or both. Multiple parameters may be selected. Use the Shift key to select a range,
or use the control key to select individual parameters. The columns in the variables list show the value of the parameter, whether it is being data logged, whether it is marked as an alarm, whether it's in the short list, or whether it's read only. When the GDW has been edited, click the Save tool and then the Running Man tool to go into runtime mode. This is how SpecView is normally used. To make more changes, go to the File menu and choose Edit Mode Remain Online or Edit Mode Go Offline. Mostly, Remain Online will be selected. The most commonly used feature of SpecView are the trend charts. Let's put a chart on another screen. Click the new GDW tool at the left end of the toolbar. Click the trend chart tool. Then click and drag from the top left to the bottom right. The trend chart properties box is displayed. Following the tradition of chart recorders, the traces on the chart are called pens. To add pens, bring the variables list to the front, select the parameter you want, and drag it to the white space. To edit a pen, double click on it, and you can edit min and max scales, whether you have majored minor horizontal divisions and other settings that are described in some of our other videos. Chamber output, for example, we would want that to be 0 to 100% rather than 400%. Click OK. Next, click the Chart tab. Set the time duration that you want for the chart. Other values you can leave at the default settings. Click Pen Scales, and we can add other scales to either side of the chart. Click Apply, OK, and we have set up our chart. The chart is now recording the process. SpecView is controlled by clicking buttons on the screen. To switch between screens, draw a button. Click the Draw Buttons tool click and drag to create the button. Double click and the button attributes box is displayed. The caption is the text that will appear on the button. Next select the action. We want graphical display window or GDW swap to another GDW. Drop the list down and select the screen. Click OK and click the Save tool. To be able to switch back to this screen, use the Window menu to select the other GDW. Draw a button, double click on it, enter the caption, and select the action. Click the Save tool and now enter runtime by clicking the Running Man tool. This is now a functional system to control, monitor, and record the process. Please view our other videos for more details on the many other features of SpecView. Thanks for watching.